Our top story tonight, re reviving a town's economy seems like a daunting task, but one group of sixth graders are taking this task head on. News West 9's Rachel Rip has the story from Andrews. These nine students, as well as 11 more, are set to revive the economy in Andrews. They call themselves the Community and Future Problem Solvers. It's a part of the Gifted and Talented program at Andrews Middle School, and they're taking this task one step at a time. We want you to come to the Andrews Black and Gold Market. Sixth graders on a mission. I really like that we get to find ways to help our community. We're like a team. They look beyond themselves and do something for the community. Every year this group looks to solve or help lessen a problem. Last year, it's safe to say problems were aplenty. COVID-19 and the oil bust were their focuses. Some of our community members had lost jobs because of the oil crisis and hours being cut. And so their wages were being cut as well as uh, not having everything that they're used to having. So the students wanted to come up with a way to increase their uh, wages. So this team of sixth graders presented their ideas to the city council. In talking to people in the community and a survey, we found out that, you know, maybe a market day once a month would be great. It was approved, but COVID case numbers delayed them from starting until today. Once they saw that, yes, people in the community were interested in this project, it was like a spark was lit. After hours of preparation Friday, I'm really excited to see what all the people are selling and, um, how many people are coming? They kicked off their first market day this morning from 9 until 3 this afternoon. And over 200 residents showed up. Vendors with tea, clothes, plants, and more. Each year, it's neat to see the community problem-solving project come to life and stay alive in the town. These future problem solvers in Andrews will host these market days every third Saturday of the month this spring. Now, if you want to become a vendor, you can reach out to Holly directly. All of those details will be listed on newswest9.com. Reporting from my home studio, I'm Rachel Ripp.